Holla peeps, it's your girl Cherie reporting live for Cherie TV. Still trial watching, well, verdict watching. I knew I should have gone to the gym. But you know what, guys? Baby woke up. I got all excited. I went in there and, you know, did my thing. You know what I'm saying? Got my mush on. Went to sleep. Just woke up about 40 minutes ago. I'm thinking, okay, they're going to have a, a, a verdict when I get up. Still no verdict. These motherfuckers are at lunch. Come on. I miss working out. And the peeps know how important that is. If you've missed in the trenches and you're saying, oh my God, I miss Shereen in the trenches, never got to see her. Guess what? In the trenches is back. Day, time to be announced. Come out and see your girl face to face. Let's kick it. It's my improv stand-up comedy. 5X. Ain't no 3X for ya. Come see me. So we can chill. And you can get fucked up. And chill with me. So yeah. That's good. I've known for a few days, but, you know, I just didn't know when I was going to tell y'all. Because I'm still playing in the tour, too. Okay. I did. I went to sleep. I got to be like 3, let's say 3.15. You know, that's sleepy time T. I ain't fucking with it no more. Okay? Because, I mean, you'll be. I could not wake up this morning. Usually, y'all know me. Usually, I'm like, hey, holla. I was like, oh my God, I'm tired still. It's a sleepy time T. Celestial seasoning. It's very good. I drank that shit last night before I went to bed, you know, hoping maybe I'd wake up at 10, 11. That would be so good. Nope, your girl was up. You know when I was up. You know when Sharif TV started, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna fix my liner. My eyeliner. Baby, will you uh, throw me uh, my makeup case, please, my love? It's right there. Come on. Come on, babe, because then I got to leave the chair. I ain't trying to leave the frame. You know I don't like leave the frame. Right, y'all? You don't want me to leave the frame. Thank you, baby. Holla, baby. Burp during Sheree TV. Your knee's not in place? I see it. You need to push it in place? Nay, I mean, uh, nay. My sister must be talking about me. But baby's knee is out of place, and she just showed it to me. She go, she'll put it back in place. <coughs> She's tough. Not at this moment, though. She'd rather walk around with her shit out of place. What you saying? It hurts my face. Oh, wait a minute. I just fucked up. No, I'm not hungry now, but I can get there. You go ahead. Oh, see, I'm fucking for real. Oh, man. Did I? Baby messed me up. I know. 
I'll put that shit way up there. It got up in the crease. I like a whole. That's why I don't have any left. You're not even supposed to do this. What I'm doing. That's not even how it goes on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm supposed to be just like a, a fine line. But, but I fucked it up. So. When you make a mistake, make it bigger. Oh, okay. Go bigger, go home. That's right. There. I might have fucked up, but it's even. Fuck it. Yeah, it's working. It might look a little, you know, same when baby sees him. Oh, God. But, you know. Do what you gotta do. You gotta make it up. I'm gonna sit here and freak out and tell you. Oh! <coughs> okay. Holla all Sheree TV watchers out there. I love y'all. Jane Velez on the TV in the background. You don't want to be on Street TV or you did? No! I don't want any of that. I'm not even beef stroking off. And they're considering manslaughter. They're going to on my with diet. The same level of precision. Pancakes. Nature in which they've taken the Once or twice a week. Hours to what we presume to be Chicken fajitas. I'm very impressed with this jury. And, and soup. And the end, no matter what the verdict is. You know, Ramen. Way, That's what's on my diet. Won't be able to say this jury did not oh, and, and did near not beer. Review, at least from what we can tell, all of the evidence in terms of reaching a decision. Happy 420, everyone. John Lieberman, I don't think that this means that it's necessarily going to be another 13 right. hours. I think they took quite a bit of time to organize, get an inventory, look at all of the more than 200 exhibits, at least a, a cursory examination, then look at some of the biggies, like the reenactment video that uh, George Zimmerman did, the interrogations by police. I feel better uh, now, you know what I'm saying? Sleep. Y'all should get that if you have trouble sleeping. Like um, Celestial so seasoning, time. sleepy time tea. Uh, if they're Ooh. Going according to uh, what the jury instruction said, murder two, and now they're on to consideration of manslaughter. Well, I think I disagree. I would say with drink it in the bed. This could be the beginning okay. of phase two for them. Yeah, that's what I would say. These six women appear to be so analytical. They're so invested Look. in this. So they may have taken that first day. They Do you may like have it? taken hypothetically yeah. second degree off the table. Now they're at the very like beginning of talking about I manslaughter. Like it. That's why they want the My lids. But it should also be said, Jane, I think it's an important point. 
These jurors know nothing about sentencing. So in other words, in their heads, if they think that somebody needs to be held accountable for Trayvon Martin's death, and they want to hold George Zimmerman accountable, they could see manslaughter as a good compromise, not knowing in But if he gets manslaughter, nearly the same amount he's, of he, he's in he's in jail, jail right? Murder conviction. I nope. think that's a he's not in jail? Point. Nope. One other quick point, Jane. Somebody said that if well, well, let me, let me at the end of the day he goes home. Let me yeah. get into that a little bit because you're raising a very important point. If this jury mistakes Seriously? believes that manslaughter is a slap on the wrist, could the defense have done something to know their he went at the end of the day? that is not a slap on the wrist without specifically uh, discussing the minimums and the maximums, which oh, obviously they can't do or else they would have He's done. out on bond? And I'm going to go back to Jasmine Brand. You are the attorney for Trayvon Martin. He is out on bond. This is nerve-wracking for them. He goes oh, home yeah. every night. Oh my God! He's in hiding. In hiding. Closer to a conviction, um, you know, as Tracy and Sabrina have called for both sides to be peaceful, no matter what the outcome is. I guess so, because he killed that baby. Uh, behavior that we've yeah. seen. So we're just going to remain strong and await for what we believe will be a conviction. Um. Again, any moment now, this jury of six women. Uh, five of whom are mothers. Four of the six have a relationship of some sort with guns. The family members have guns. One used to have concealed weapons permit. They are having dinner, but they are working through their dinner break, and they could come back any second with a more specific question about manslaughter. Are we in the end game here? Is a decision about to be made any moment now? Stay right there, because it could happen any second. What got me was when... Um the prosecutor said in his closing, you know, and it takes you back. You go back to when you were a teenager and all those great movies were out like Friday the 13th. We had Halloween. We had Freddy Krueger. Watch Crosby on, or C Cropsy on uh, net Netflix. I think this guy was a real Fred Krueger because he used a hook, but he, he killed children. Just like Fred Krueger. It's, it's crazy. But, um, you know, we had all that. And and the biggest fear for any child is being followed home in the dark, in the rain. Do you know what I mean? You don't know who he is, but you're being followed. That's the boogeyman. Baby, why are you there? I'm, I'm a philosopher. Okay, seriously, but that really drove it home for me. I was like, he is so right. That is everybody's nightmare, every kid's nightmare. You know what I mean? Now you know you turn around, what, get them with your keys. You know what I'm saying? Shh, go to blows. But, you know, for any teenager who watches these movies, you know what I mean? They think totally different than you. You know what you Hit him with your keys. Yeah. All right, now I should do under. Well, I think maybe that might be perfect. I don't need to mess with that. Under, I'll just put eyeliner on. I'm going to the gym. I know. Baby said I can't go. Not until I know what's up. Yeah, if they leave for the day, then I can go. Why are you making those chick noises? No. Huh? It's like little chickens. Chickens? Chicken. You want to be on the street, too. Uh -huh. Baby, let me let me interview you for Cherie TV. You sit in this chair. No. Come on. 
Well, like I said, Baby has been on Shree TV before. Yeah, but that one looks this huge. Damn. I threw my makeup bag over there, hit Baby all in the foot, then rolled off the... I just don't know my own strength. I rolled off this couch. I gotta watch myself. Ah! I want to give a shout out to my girl Ariel. Holla, Ariel Hardy. Holla. Uh, it's from um, the, grudge. the Grudge. All right, let's see. Is Jane back? <laughs> He said he felt like his head was going to explode. You know now he feels like his head is going to explode. He's sitting there going, what the fuck is, what are they thinking? What is going to happen? Are you following him? Yeah. Okay, we need you not to do that. Um, no, I think I'll go follow him anyway. Because I was going to be a cop, so, you know, and I have a gun. Anticipation, it's nerve-wracking here in Sanford. Look, pictures of Trayvon blowing out smoke. You know what? Let me end this video so I can blow out some smoke. More Sheree TV coming at ya. I love you guys.